guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video one of my faves it is a zara haul i have been shopping on both their homeware because they now have some christmas bits in as well which is very exciting and their fashion sales galore at the minute as well so even if i tell you these prices they're probably going to be different so i will leave links to everything that i include within this video in the description box below should you wish to shop any of these items yourself i'm standing up because i feel like it's going to be better to talk you through the items once i try them on but i think i might show you all the homeware bits first and i'm going to kick start it with an item that is kind of matching my outfit going with the forest green festive color this is one of their festive candles that they have brought out of which I think they have three cents two or three cents they've got like a gingerbread one they've got a salt of caramel and then they've got this chimney scent which is a bit of me that kind of smoky in fact the current scent that I have in this room is fireside by the white company one of my faves I love the kind of smoky scents so yes Zara now do this scent called chimney this is the actual candle itself i think it is beautiful the glass it is gonna be really hard to show you this because of the ring light but the glass itself is actually a deep kind of forest green color the next item that i got i recently got a dish which i think is sold out now on zara home which is like a metal black aluminium kind of tray decor piece this also is a tray in that same material and it came in three different sizes this is the smallest i feel like these sort of trays make a great addition on a windowsill or somewhere where you're putting a reed diffuser on it but you just kind of want it to look in place and less cluttered by popping a reed diffuser or a candle or something like that that you've got on display on a tray i think really makes a difference it is kind of distressed a little bit textured obviously metal it's the exact same material as that other one that i've got and then the next item that i have again sticking with the home fragrance is one of their reed diffusers this is boxed up beautifully and you can't undo it to show you what it looks like without ruining the wrapper i'm keeping this as a gift for someone so I'm going to keep it sealed up, but I'll pop an image on the screen of what it looks like from the actual Zara website so you can see the bottle. It looks beautiful. This one I think sounds lovely and great for winter. It's just into the woods. And then I picked up a bauble. Ooh, how could I not? They have some of the most beautiful baubles. Our tree is already up. You may have seen our Decorate for Christmas with me video. And if you did, you'll see that I'm going for like an antique glam kind of theme this year on our tree so very kind of champagne golds brass a little bit of silver a little bit of glitz but mostly kind of champagne gold very tempted for burgundy possibly next year in fact zara home have some gorgeous burgundy baubles they have to purchase some anyway let's see if they go into the cell maybe i'll pick up a bargain but this one is beautiful it's like a teardrop fluted shape with the bronze kind of hardware. Comes with the jute ribbon, but that's actually just the label. This is the little organza ribbon that you meant to hang it on the tree with. But I kind of like the jute. Next up, I have a purchase that I'm not too sure about. <laughs> I picked it up because online I thought it looked lovely and it's actually a maternity bag. I'm obviously not pregnant, not planning on babies anytime soon. So I was getting this with the intention of it being like a nice weekend hold all. Love the kind of material that that like maternity friendly fabric is beautiful, like brushed cotton. The only thing it is, I thought it was just plain and simple like this, but the inside has got little stars and moons on. So I do feel like that makes it a little more maternity than i'd like it to be i mean it is lovely though and as a like i said a little carry all hold all bag for just a weekend away or just a night away i think it's a really good size and it honestly feels lovely so i'm, I'm torn on what to do with this whether or not to keep it or send it back and next up i picked up some of their stationery i absolutely love their stationery i wish manchester had as our home we used to in the traffic center it closed down i don't know why but it made me very sad we don't have h&m home either in manchester so 
H&M, Zara, please bring your homeware stores to Manchester. That would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Anyway, I got this linen album, photo album. It could be like a little scrapbook, however you want to use it. I thought this would make a lovely sentimental gift if you filled it out yourself and gave it to someone this year. So it's got these little sections where you can pop Polaroids. Some are plain pages, some have little sections like that you can pop stuff in. This last and final item, I think I've made a bit of a mistake on. I thought it was a pair of washing baskets with light and dark on the front. Oh, just hit myself in the face with it. If you can see, this one says darks, and it's got the clips here that you can actually clip to the lights bag. So I assumed it came as a set. Now on to the Zara fashion bit. So first of all, I did pick up two pairs of boots. This first set are kind of a higher to the knee riding style boot. They don't have a zip on the inside or anything. However, I did size up to a seven in these. I always tend to size up usually like a six and a half typically, but with boots, cozy socks, I always tend to go for a seven. These I have tried on already. They're easy enough to get on because that's always the worry when there's no zip but they are so uncomfortable at least for me anyway personally i just on the calf lovely because they're a looser fit they're nice and relaxed they're like i say easy enough to get on love the look of them when they're on as well however this bit down here is so once you've got your foot in it's so kind of stiff that you either have to walk them in lots i don't have the patience for that which is a real shame because i do love the look of these i love how simple they are there's no like hardware or anything just plain and simple black love the little tab at the top as well really gutted about them and the other pair of boots that i got are kind of like walking boots that's how i'm imagining wearing these is actually just wearing them on a dog walk kind of not being too precious about trashing them but equally because they are zara they're a little bit trend led it's the sort of thing that if we took the dog out, say, and then we were going for like a nice cafe lunch afterwards or something, I'm not in wellies, I'm in Zara boots. So yeah, they are quite chunky. They are kind of hiker style walking boots with the nice chunky sole to add that kind of trend element. Again, I did size up to a seven in these. Okay, first item of clothing. I have these, a pair of high rise leather look leggings. These are in a medium. Medium. they are only 19.99 so really affordable they had them in black as well and these sort of things are hit and miss with Zara I've tried so many of these in the past and they're not fit properly that I'm keeping my fingers crossed with these ones I'm going to try them on with this shirt this is kind of for a little bit more of a dressier occasion still comfortable good for in winter and party season and it is just a plain satin black shirt this one is in a medium again it is collared buttoned all the way up the reason why i got a medium well i am a medium but it was already an oversized fit so i didn't want to go large however i don't think large would have been a problem to be honest looking at this but i do like the fact that it's slightly longer so if you wore it with leather leggings like those leggings that i'm about to try on your bum is still a little bit covered so anyway let's try this one on first Okay, let's talk the leggings first. I feel at this point I'm just ready to give up on Zara leggings. It's annoying though because I've had in the past and I've still got them from years ago, a pair of black leather trousers, frock le leather look, trousers from Zara that fit amazing, that are so comfortable, so much give. But yet yeah, these are just, just a really poor fit. They're not high-waisted enough, first and foremost. That seam across the thigh is a bit tight and restrictive for me. I feel very uncomfortable in them. I feel really restrictive. And I feel like as a size 10 to 12, I shouldn't be wearing a large. That's just my opinion. But anyway, um, you guys know what I'm like shopping for sizes. I don't really care about the label. I just go with the fit. So yeah, I would size up to a large in these and exchange them, but then I don't think they're gonna fit around the waist. They're not gonna be high-waisted enough. They're gonna be uncomfortable still, so forget them these are going back as for the shirt this satin shirt is perfect um for just doing like a little half tuck into some trousers maybe some black jeans as well or just kind of buttoning it up wearing it a little bit off shoulder wearing it a bit more evening rolling up the sleeves if you wanted to for a bit more kind of relaxed fit i do love the length of this i think a medium is absolutely fine though so i wouldn't size up for a 
more oversized fit. I'd say it's already an oversized fit. This is definitely staying. And speaking of shirts, I'm gonna show you two more shirts that I have also picked up. In fact, before I show you the shirts, I'm gonna show you this blazer because Zara blazers are my absolute favorite. I have some amazing staples. All of my classic blazers, the ones that have stood the test of time, the ones that I've had for years, are my Zara ones. Others have come and gone, Zara have stayed. So I decided to invest in yet another um, Zara blazer, this time in this beautiful olive green, which I'm loving at the minute. Greens I'm just obsessed with. I feel like they're a good color to wear, not just for autumn and winter, but also for spring. So, and then obviously summer, you're never really gonna wear an ultra blazer that often. But um, this one is slightly different to my others that I have. Just excuse how I've styled this, because I wouldn't wear it with this shirt. But um, this, I like to wear these kind of blazers dressed down a little bit with a t-shirt, high neck crew, crew neck t-shirt underneath, and maybe some leather trousers, or even just leggings or jeans, um, and heels for a slightly dresser outfit more than likely trainers. Nice and simple, very structured, which is what I love. I think that's what makes it feel a lot more expensive. In fact, the one thing I would say about this is that it's quite a bit cheaper than my other blazers that I picked up from Zara, even though it feels the same quality and same fit. My others were about 79.99. This one I think was about 50 quid. 50, yeah, 49.99. Did opt for a medium in this. Again, these are slightly an oversized fit already, so I'd just say stay true to size with this one. Yeah, the other two shirts that I picked up, again, I've gone for one in this kind of green color. Yeah, I'd say it's like a gray green, charcoal green, and then a black. And these are more of a brushed cotton, really weightier, super soft as well feel to these. And again, they're a similar fit to this satin one where they're a bit longer, so I could wear these dressed down and nice and comfy and casual with leggings, which is probably how I will wear them. Or you could dress them up with a little skirt maybe and do a half tuck. I did get different sizes, a medium in that one and a large in this one, so we'll see how they compare. Okay, starting with the black shirt in the medium, I definitely feel like a medium is fine, but I also think a large will be somewhat better. Maybe, I mean, I'm keeping both. I already know I'm gonna keep both and I'll just keep them in the sizes they're in, but I definitely, between the two, we'll probably go for a large. So yeah, along the line, I've just popped my Lululemon leggings back on. Honestly, I'm gonna leave these linked because they are the comfiest leggings I own. I'm getting quite a collection. They are expensive, well worth money. I mean, I'm a saver, I'm a bargain hunter, but when it comes to these Lululemon leggings, I'm a complete convert, and I honestly can't see myself ever loving a pair of leggings the way I love these. So I have a collection of colours. These are like the forest green colour. You might be able to tell on camera. They're just very, very dark green. They almost are verging on black. And this is exactly what I mean by just being able to wear leggings with them, being comfy, but it's a shirt. So it's a little dressier. You could roll up the sleeves. I quite like the sleeves rolled up actually. Right, let's try on the green for comparison. Okay, this is the green one. I actually feel like it's quite a nice fit with the green forest green leggings from Lululemon. I do feel like this material in comparison to the satin will need a bit of hanging out to loosen out the uh, creases. Um, I was gonna say wrinkles then. Gosh, wrinkles on the brain. Nearly 30, that's what I'm thinking about now. Just, it needs a bit of steam, bit of an iron. But apart from that, I just love the fit of it. I love how it just falls really nicely. I'm really, really loving this one. Big fan. Now I have a couple of knitwear items to share with you. So let me show you the first one. This one is in an extra large. It definitely doesn't look like an extra large to me, but anyway. This is a fuzzy, kind of cozy, high neck woolen jumper. It's itchy. Why do they even make them? If they're gonna itch, because this is high neck, so like, I, I'm not gonna wear a polo neck under this. I suppose you could do to really layer it up. Maybe if you're going on a skiing break, this would be cute with a polo neck underneath layered up. I'm just not that person. I, I don't like restrictive things around my neck. So I'm all right with a high neck and I really like the look of that, but not if it's gonna be itchy. But I'll try it on for you anyway, if you are the sort of person that can just deal with that kind of stuff. Okay, one thing this jumper has made me realize is that I'm probably in need of shorter jumpers. A lot of my jumpers are a lot longer 
And sometimes when it's all oversized, it's all very like material. I mean, it's not the most flattering, it's very comfy. But it would be nice to switch up and maybe just have, you know, slightly tucked in, higher jumper with some jeans maybe, or even a skirt. You know, like if you've got a nice high-waisted satin skirt, I feel like these jumpers look really nice tucked in and even styled up in winter with some boots and leggings. Not leggings, tights, sorry, boots and tights. I'm gonna have to get this off. It's honestly itching me so much, which is a real shame because I do love this color as well. So this other one that I've got is definitely a bit softer. It's not the softest. I still feel like I'd put a t-shirt or something underneath it, but it's nowhere near itchy like this. Honestly, this is just, ooh. Uh, okay, so this is in a large, I got this one in, a typical grey that reminds me of school days, I don't know why, but this sort of a grey just makes me think of school, but anyway, let's try it on. So this is what the grey jumper looks like, a really lovely fit in a large for me, I feel like it's nice and long line on the sleeves, which I love, especially when you're wearing a jumper, you want it to be cosy, and I love nothing more than having my hands within the sleeves holding mold wine at manchester christmas markets that's the ideal situation but anyway i really love this i think it would look nice laid up with a collared shirt underneath maybe a white crisp white shirt underneath maybe a slightly longer one so it pops out the bottom as well i'm gonna say this has got a hint of itch i could deal with it but i probably wouldn't reach for it for that reason so anyway this is gonna go back as well so all in all I've not had the most successful trip. I've got some lovely homeware bits and all three shirts and blazers I'm gonna keep as well. I'm gonna keep all of them because I do really love them and they make a good addition to my wardrobe. But this and the other Richie numbers going back, the high boots going back, the leggings are going back and I need your verdict on that maternity bag. Is it too maternity or can I get away with it as a nice weekend bag? Let me know. So anyway, that is everything that I have picked up recently from Zara. Thank you so, so much for watching this Zara haul. Let me know what videos you would like to see into December. I don't know, maybe Vlogmas? Maybe I could do, I mean, I'm not vlogging every day, but maybe I could do some more vlogs. If you guys want to see that out and about Christmas markets, that kind of thing, let me know. So thank you so, so much for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.